Hi, I'm Kelly Brown and welcome to my quick tutorial using textures. I'm very excited to have recently released my texture collections. I have the metallic collection that you can see right here, the paper collection and the grit collection. So these three collections also um, come in a bundle and when you purchase the bundle from newbornposing.com you also get these bonus 15 textiles textures which are absolutely beautiful and they're only available when you purchase the bundle. So I wanted to show you how I quickly use textures to give my images that little something extra that you often can't capture in camera. Textures add depth, they add mood, they add to the artistry of your photographs and they just create that little something extra. So I'm going to go ahead and use this texture here which is number 15 from my metallics collection. Now it's really bright, really colourful, quite intense and I'm going to use that on a photo that's of a similar sort of colour um, range in those pinks. So to take that texture and add it to that image, I'm just going to select the image, Command A, and I'm going to um, then copy that image, Command C, go back to my actual photograph and Command V and paste that image on top. So here it's telling me that the texture has a different colour profile and it's, it's just asking me whether I want to um, change that colour profile or not. So you can see it's going to be a different size to the image and that all depends on the actual size of the images that you're capturing in camera so don't worry too much. But to resize this image I'm just going to go Command T on that texture and take it up to the corner and then extend it over the entire photograph. What I love is the versatility um, with using textures like this because there's so many different options that you can use to um, create a lot of different effects. So over here where you can see it in my layers menu, if you click up the top in your layer mode you've got all of these you know, different um, modes that are going to give that texture a different effect. So we'll go down through a couple of them just so you can see what I'm talking about. So we'll click on multiply and you can see that it's multiplying that information. Come down using screen it's going to lighten it and then we'll come all the way down here to soft light and it's going to add just a little bit of contrast with that texture and then we'll go up to overlay. So overlay is just that little bit intense a um, little bit more intense there. But I'm going to go back to soft light because that's where I prefer it. And you can see that it's quite pink here adding to this image and it's a little bit um, too colourful I suppose. So if we turn it off you can see underneath. And what I'm going to do here is just reduce the opacity of that texture. So you can see the different effects that that's having there. So I'll increase the size. Now at the moment the texture is over the entire image. There's a couple of different options you can do here. Sometimes you want to keep the same tonal, tonality throughout the entire image that the texture has added to the photograph. So what I would do in that instance is use my lasso tool and I would come around just on the inside of where I don't want that texture to be. Here we go and I'm just going to feather that slightly by about 20 pixels. And now what I'm going to do is go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So I'm actually just going to blur that. So you can see if I undo that we've got texture and by blurring it we're removing the actual texture there. But we're keeping the tone so it matches throughout the entire image. I can deselect that so you can see the difference there. Now let's go back a couple of steps because if you didn't want to keep that tone throughout all of the image then what I suggest is adding a layer mask using a paintbrush, a black paintbrush and just taking it off the parts of the image that you don't want it on. So I'll just increase the hardness there to come around so you can see removing it there.
So you can use selection tools, all of that. But just to show you quickly what I mean. Turn the backslash key on the guide so we can see where we've missed. Okay, so there is the texture on the background only now, not on the main subject. So if we increase the opacity of that to 100%, you can see it a little better. And let's just say for whatever reason that you wanted to change the, the color tone of that or reduce the, um, the color in it, you just simply click back onto the layer off the mask. You can go up into hue and saturation or color balance, whichever you prefer, but I'm going to go hue and saturation. So I'm going to go command U. And up here we can change the hue slightly if we want to and we can also bring down the saturation there as well. So you can have lots of fun with this. You can lighten it if you wanted to as well or you can darken it. So the effects are really quite amazing there. Um, also, I mean, to create something a little bit different for the image, I can use my circular selection tool come around that subject there and do that again and select inverse and hit the delete key and we can take that layer off just to sort of create you know something a little different for that photograph so we've got our before and our after but it's entirely up to you and the idea is to kind of have fun with this and to create something that's really different really really unique if we were to go back a few more steps and try something else what we can do is go up to multiply to darken this and then we can go back to hue and saturation we can bring that saturation right back here and we can then add some real depth to this photograph um, and taking that off the photograph there as well in the center using that same technique that I used before with either masking it off or simply coming around with a selection tool So all of the different textures come with different tones and effects. So it's all about sort of experimenting and seeing what works best with each image. So you can see I've just blurred that then to take that texture off the baby's skin and I can reduce the opacity again. So I can add a lot of depth and, and mood to photographs too. So enjoy using the textures, have lots of fun. I can't wait to see what you create and make sure you share them in the Kelly Brown Newborn Posing Group on Facebook. Thanks so much for joining me.